Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I wanted to introduce you guys to a game called Black Survival, which is basically a cross between Hunger Games, the movie, and Battle Royale, uh, which is actually from Japan. So the idea here is you pick a character, um, and each of these characters have different attributes, different abilities, and then you go into a match with nine other real players, and you kind of fight to the death by moving around the map, you collect different items to upgrade your stats, and you can also gain experience points to increase the strength of your character during that match. Um, and last one standing wins. And how it forces you to actually engage with other players is that as you progress through the game, uh, the different areas that you're allowed to go to become less and less. It restricts those areas and eventually cuts them off completely. So at the end, if there's still players remaining, everybody would be forced into the same area where it would basically be a fight to the death kind of scenario. So, I'm going to be playing uh, this character here, who's a shaman character. Um, she has a couple abilities, one of which is to inflict damage on a enemy, and then to give him a debuff, reducing uh, the chance of finding experience points, corpses, and also decreasing the chance of a critical hit rate by 100%. Uh, you can also see your other ability here. Every, f And then there's this other ability, Tit for Tat, where every fourth attack she receives, 20% of the damage taken is reflected back towards the enemy. You can, of course, unlock different characters as you progress through the game, getting resource points, skins, all of the typical stuff you would see in a free-to-play game. So let's just go ahead and start by playing a game. I would say each game lasts around... 10, maybe 15 minutes, but if you're unlucky, you can get taken out way quicker. Uh, luckily, though, when you do lose, you're allowed to leave the game immediately. You don't have to just sit there and watch. Um, so let's just go ahead and give this a shot here. I'm obviously taking all of these free bonuses as a new player to the game. Uh, you can see I'm currently in Herbivore League, rank 4, so not very good at the game. And there are a lot of good players in the game. Uh, let me tell you, if you go into an early match, there's a really good chance you're going to run into some players who are just way better than you. I mean, it, it's kind of typical to be expected in a semi-competitive game. But it does present a challenge. You're probably not going to win your first match. There's also this ability, I think only new players get it, where uh, you're allowed to look for Brad uh, every... I think it's 180 seconds, so 3 minutes, and you can consume items like bread or water to restore health and stamina. So let's see, uh, here at the start, everybody starts at the same place, and then you have to go out and start searching for items. I'm gonna equip some of these free starting items. Okay, so it looks like glass marble. I don't think that's actually useful for me here. Let me see if there's anything you can craft with it. So a big part of the game is actually crafting different items. Um, so you take these bad items and you basically craft good items, good equipment with them, or even better food items. I need to actually get moving here. So uh, this character uses bows. So I think we'll just try to go with a longbow or something like that. So I'm going to move over to the archery range. Obviously, the areas that you go to are going to be associated with different items. Has led your and here I've ran into a player already. <laughs> It's actually not a bad idea to just attack people early on in the game, because every time you engage in combat with somebody, you actually get experience points for that. And experience means... oh, okay, arrows, that'll be good in the long run. Uh, but getting experience points is going to make your character stronger. So, that's a good thing. And actually, um, that item I equipped is worse than the one I started with, so I'm actually going to drop that. Uh, it, it can be kind of hectic, because everybody's doing things at the same time. So, of course, the faster you can move around, the faster you can do things, the uh, more likely you are to win the match. I think this character is, like, uh, kind of away from the keyboard, or something like that. Really, I'm just trying to get the bow. I don't actually care about her at the moment. Getting kills doesn't really matter, um, it's just whoever's the last one standing, that's what's important. You can see that whenever I move around, it actually takes up some stamina, and that's why they give you items like water, so that you can recover uh, stamina. 
and red to recover health. The spirit a big part of this game is figuring out which items you do want to keep and which ones you don't. So like this glass marble, I don't think that's actually useful, so I'm just going to drop that. But these pills, which restore health, are definitely something I'm going to want to hang on to if I can. You can see how many uh, item slots you have filled over here on the right, by the way. Okay, a feather. I remember that can be reasonably be useful. Preparing. Don't blame me. Okay. So I'm just going to use another water here. Okay, a bow. That's actually good. So I'm going to hit craft here to see what that can be crafted into. This can turn into a composite bow, uh, which isn't exactly what we were looking for before, but any bow will be fine. So now we need piano water here, which you can see can be found at the town hall, the fire station, the archery range, or the cemetery. The spirit. We'll begin the first round of restrictions. I will be prepared. Actually, I meant to equip that. Okay, and these gloves we can drop that. Okay, getting more arrows isn't bad. Don't blame me. Now, um, one of the main reasons you obviously want to go and get better equipment is so that when you do eventually have to fight people, um, let's see here, I'll, I'll take the breath there, that you have better gear than the other guys, so you're going to be the one who comes out alive. So we're going to keep looking around here until we get the uh, piano wire there, and I, I messed up big time because I actually have a full inventory here. So I can't actually grab that. Now that's a pretty big mistake. Okay, so here we got a heavy crossbow. You can actually see what that crafts into a sniper crossbow, and that needs a laser pointer. Okay, we'll look for that. So I'll drop that, and to get a laser pointer we now have to go to the factory or school. So most of the game, as you can see, is just about uh, avoiding enemies who are stronger than you. As you can see, he's attacking me now. And collecting gear as fast as you can. Because I have a decent bow here, the crossbow, I can probably win here. I imagine he's going to run away, try to change into a different area, which is a smart idea. Um, so he's going to run away, and I'll just be able to do what I want here, which is to find a laser pointer. So I'm just going to keep clicking on the screen to actually try to locate where that laser point is at. Sometimes it can take a while, and obviously the faster you can click... Uh, let's see, is this feather actually useful? Um, not that useful. Wait. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. But yeah, the faster you can search for the items you need, the better you're going to do in the long run. So... It is a game of speed, in a sense. Okay, we got the laser pointer. So I'm going to craft that into the sniper crossbow here and equip it. That's really good for us. Um, next, I click on my character and we can see what areas do I not have any items on. So we don't have any chest armor. So I'm going to go over to armor gear and then clothes. Let's see what we can try to make. Uh, maybe chain armor? Okay, yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Because we already have leather here, so now we need to get fabric armor, which we can get at the archery range. So I'll go back there, and we'll start looking around here. Whenever those warnings happen, that's uh, talking about the areas being closed off. So I'll actually show you the map really quick. Any area that's marked with these um, exclamation points is an area that's being marked to be closed off after a couple minutes. And uh, we're going to run away from that gorilla. So, and I don't want to fight the gorilla. I'm going to go to the temple instead. So, if you do get caught out in an area where... the spirit Wow, these guys are really low on HP. But if you do get caught out in an area that's going to uh, be closed off, and you're still there when it closes off, I think you actually just die there. Okay, so we have the fabric armor. I'm going to grab that into leather armor and equip it. I don't want to fight that guy, he's kind of strong, so gotta move away. You can see I'm taking a lot of damage there. Now, if you don't have any items for recovering HP or stamina, you can use this rest function here. 
which is a lot slower, of course. Uh, the game wants to incentivize you to craft good health items. Um, so you don't have to waste time doing this kind of thing. But that's always an option if you need to. And while a lot of people are uh, kind of getting exited out of the game quite fast here. So I'm actually going to go to the alley and look for that steel chain here. Well, actually, uh, we'll do the hotel. Because one thing I have noticed is that most people will stay away from the areas that are about to close off. And I'm not really looking for a fight here. So we got the steel chain. I'm going to craft that into chain armor. Okay, so that's good. Let's see, what else do we need here? Uh, arm gear, leg gear. So let's look for some arm gear. I will go for... Uh, let's just say this wristband. Actually, we'll go for the golden bracelet. So, let's see. The golden bracelet can be found at the alley. So let's move there. I'm also gonna reload these arrows, because you don't want to run out of uh, ammunition if you are using a ranged weapon. You do have to reload. And you can run out of arrows, of course. So, I think we didn't actually have any hand items. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> My mistake, that's a weapon. If it says hand 8, that's a weapon, not a uh, piece of armor. You do have to be careful about that. So, let's see. Uh, we're looking for the bracelet, so let's just keep going and try to find that. Kitchen knife, that's not useful. Note that I'm running low on stamina, so I might actually have to rest for some of that in a minute here. And uh, really, that's just kind of how the game goes. Uh, this, Okay, so the alley is okay, so we don't actually have to move. I'll take this ramen just to eat it. And eventually we'll all be forced into one area we'll where the last the one's standing. Okay, running shoes is suggested. So let's try to craft that into something better. So to find a iron ball, we want to go to the tunnel. And sometimes you just kind of change what you're looking for, depending on what you find. Okay, so I, I don't know if I can actually take this guy out. We're actually gonna have to run here, I think. Too much damage. So here, I'll use the pills, heal up a bit. And let's sleep for a minute while we figure out what we're doing. So, I'm still looking for the iron ball in order to upgrade those running shoes. So, we'll go to the well for that. And uh, you can see at the top, um, there's only four people left alive. So, we're actually in the top four. That's not too bad considering there's ten people in the game. Um, we'll get more water just to recover some stamina with that. Okay, still looking for the iron ball though. Okay, uh, arrows aren't too bad. Ooh, I did not mean to pick up that uh, short crossbow. You do have to be careful, because once again, if you run out of inventory space, I don't believe you can grab items when you run into it. Probably have too many arrows here, honestly, but uh, there's no need to get rid of it. Meteorite, that's interesting. I, I'm not actually sure what that craft sent you. So we're still looking for the iron ball. You'll notice, of course, uh, most of the items you run into, you just ignore it, because you can't manage every single item. So we got that. I'm going to craft some heals with that. Ooh, bag full. Okay, we'll drop the meteorite. And I'll craft that. Equip that. We'll drop that. And let's see. We still need arm gear, so that's what I'm going to go for next. I might not even have time to do it in this game. Um... Let's see... Okay, sheath seems okay. Uh, so the archery range has leather. So we have 30, 38 seconds here still. Quiver. But in a... Ooh, the grill is still there. Okay. We're gonna move, actually. So I'll go to the temple here, which might be dangerous. Um, there might still be one of the players here. Okay, uh... What do we want from him? I think the bracelet, and we'll see what we can craft with that, because if we already have... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm moving. 
Uh, this might actually be the end here for this game. Uh, we have to go into the temple. So I'm just gonna go there because there's no choice. And we'll just have to we'll have to see how it goes. And that's the end of the game. So <laughs> obviously they probably had better gear at that point, and there was nothing I could have really done about that. That's the fight to the death portion of the game. And that's kind of how it goes. It's it's basically Hunger Game, last one was standing wins. The way the spirit laid for me. Fourth place is not too bad. That's probably as far as I've gotten. We can check the details for what happened in the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope this gave you a decent idea of how the game works. Um, you just select a character, you have special abilities, you play Hunger Games, you collect items, you try to defeat the opponents while surviving yourself. And it's ranked in terms of how, basically, who dies first, who dies last. So I've been Dark Skeleton, and that's going to be it for this video, showing you guys Black Survival. Um, it's available on Android devices, probably iPhone 2, and Steam now, so that, I've been playing it on Steam today. And I'll see you guys in my future video content.